Hello and welcome to today's video. If you've been here before, I'm glad you're back. And if you're new here, welcome. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to create these lovely designs that are really salon viable uh, using neon pigments because I cannot blend to save my life. Like, I mean, I can't even with the neon pigments, but it doesn't matter. Just ignore that. Um, so yeah, I'm going to show you how to create these uh, using neon pigments and just the couple of gel paints and some crystals um, so I really hope you like it and enjoy it uh, if you are interested to purchase any of the products that are going to be mentioned today you can use on both Crystal Parade and Get Nailed by Laura McBride websites Ralphie 5 at checkout okay so let's get started so I'm starting off with three tips and I'm gonna go in with one layer of blush and cure that for 30 seconds and then I'm gonna go in with my second layer and cure that this is just gonna be our base color so you can do any color you want here um, I just chose blush because it's so pretty and now I'm gonna paint one layer of material girl and cure that for 60 seconds and now using uh, white gel paint, my go-to brush, and my 5mm liner brush, I'm gonna start painting my uh, butterfly, my first design basically, my butterfly wing, just getting a general shape with this brush uh, because it applies a lot more product than my 5mm brush and quicker on a bigger surface. Um, so yeah, just getting a general shape with this and I'm gonna refine it afterwards with my 5mm brush. And yeah, I'm gonna cure this first layer uh, in a minute and then I'm gonna apply a second layer to make everything really smooth and nice because I'm gonna use neon pigments after this and they tend to show up any bumps. And again, I don't know what happened with my camera because the brightness went up again and I somehow realized this quicker than last time. So I, uh, <laughs> I changed my settings again. I really don't understand what's happening with my camera. But yeah, now I'm just uh, finishing up that shape with my second coat to make it nice and smooth and, you know, obsess over every single detail and then I have this fluffy acrylic brush that's like really really cheap I don't even remember what I got it from uh, but I use it to apply pigments like this and oh my god this blend is gonna be so horrendous like I, I tried to blend it I swear I tried to blend it but it did not work at all um, and yeah I'm gonna go in with loads of colors and I started with green then went to yellow orange pink and then purple um, I tried to do this with gel polishes but I cannot blend at all like this is great blending for me <laughs> so I admit I'm not good at blending but oh well you know if you're better at blending than me, then I am so happy. Please teach me how to do it. <laughs> so yeah, just trying to get that blend going, but it's it's really not working now. You, no. And now I'm just cleaning up um, the matte uh, top coat that I've put on earlier. Um, and I'm gonna put a layer of I'd rather be shiny over the top of this and try to make it smooth because it's gonna be a bit bumpy because obviously we painted that whole thing. And now I'm going with uh, Material Girl because I, I want the nail to have a matte finish. Uh, now going in with some black gel paint and a really thin liner brush, I'm gonna start painting the details of the butterfly. And this was my favorite part. I love adding little details and making everything look nice and covering up my mistakes. Like, you know, you can see that white bit at the top. That's going to be covered. That's why it's good to add details, you know, because you can cover bad work like I just I'm just doing now. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm, I'm just going around making the general shape again of the butterfly. Um, and trying to refine whatever areas I don't like, you know. 
and then I'm gonna start um, adding more and more details and make it look however I want because it's my butterfly and even though you've never seen a very block line butterfly before well you see it now and in my opinion is beautiful oh and my camera is back now see so I told you I, I will manage to realize this really quick um, so yeah, I'm, I'm just adding more details to the wings. You can go crazy with this. You don't have to actually do it as I do it here. You can add anything you want. You can add little hearts. It's your butterfly. Do it however you want. It's still going to look good. It's, I, I really like doing butterflies because uh, the sky's the limit. You can do whatever you want. There are already billions of species out there i don't even know how many there are um with different designs but i'm sure you can still find some more <laughs> so yeah don't ask me what butterfly this is it doesn't have a name yet <laughs> yeah so keep on adding loads of little details uh lines and whatever and now i'm gonna add some uh, white dots with my uh, dotting tools just because I wanted to break up that you know bold black pattern oh and we're already moving on to the next nail um, and this is gonna be my flower nail so starting off with some petals I'm again gonna get the general shape of the petals get them where I want with my go-to brush and some white gel paint so yeah, I'm gonna go around and make like half a flower because I didn't want to try and fit a whole flower on this. <laughs> I wanted to put only half a flower <laughs> on this nail. It's not a lot to say about this design, is it? Basically, I'm just painting petals. There you go. That's a good explanation. And now I'm gonna go in, go in with my five millimeter brush and refine everything refine all the shapes that i want this is the worst part in my opinion because it just whatever you do is not going to look perfect well in my eyes whatever i do is not going to look perfect so i'm going to keep on going back and forth and back and forth and it's so annoying um, and now i'm going in with my second coat of white to again make it look very smooth because I don't want those neon powders to show any texture to this. So just adding basically some uh, paint and then floating it over with my brush. And then I made a mistake right there and I tried to fix it and I made it worse so I just left it. And now I'm going in again with my neon powders. Um, trying a semicircle now, hoping that I'm gonna be better at blending. Spoiler alert, I'm not. Whatever I try, I am not good at blending. I don't know how people do it. They are gods. I am very bad at it. But I do my best, okay? I'm going back and forth between colors, adding some more, taking some more away. Um, but yeah, th this is the best I can do. Let's just face it. I can do better. <laughs> and now going in with I'd rather be shiny again to smooth that surface, uh, holding it upside down to float, you know, wherever I want it. And now I'm going in with Material Girl and curing that, obviously. Because, I, again, I just want a matte finish. I really think it looks better with this design. Um, now I'm using a detailer brush and some um, white gel paint to add small details to the flowers and an outline. Which I actually think look decent. I mean, I'm, I'm happy with it. Again, nature designs are the best things that you can start painting when you're, uh, you're when you're trying to like learn how to paint because whatever they are they're very forgiving they don't have to be perfect if anyone asks why they're not perfect you can just say you know what no flowers are perfect so yeah you just you know shove that in their faces 
to be honest, don't let anyone bring you down. Just compare yourself to yourself. Never compare yourself to others or listen to whatever others are saying to you. Just ignore them. Now I'm adding a middle to this flower with black gel paint and just, you know, a detailer brush, just bringing that out onto the petals. Again, I've never seen a flower that looks exactly like this, so I don't know what is supposed to be, but just, you know, it's my own. I made it. And now I'm very out of focus, and I'm sorry about that, but I'm adding some little dots with my dotting tool to the middle of the flower again to, you know, mimic that... I don't even know what I'm trying to mimic there. <laughs> now moving on with the, to the next one, I'm getting a general shape of the body of the dragonfly. And yeah, basically I'm doing that and adding a second coat over it to again smooth the surface. It's a very crooked bodied dragonfly, but I, I love it how it is. And then adding my powders again, I didn't even try to blend these much, like I just kind of threw them there and yeah, brushed the whole thing off. There you go, bye! <laughs> and now adding on some... Um, I'd rather be shiny. And with Black Widow, mixed a little bit with some uh, I'd rather be shiny, I'm gonna paint some shadows instead of the wings. Because the, the wings of the butterfly, the dragonfly, they already have kind of a sheen to them. And then you can see the little veins that go through them. So I tried to mimic that. And I, I wanted a bit of texture with inside of it, just so it looks more natural. And now painting the material girl on top of this. And then going in with some white gel paint, a detailer brush, trying to give that body more definition. Um, you know, to, to give it a bit of an outline to stand out more. And I made a mistake there. Okay, all right, just, you know, ignore that. <laughs> I really struggled with this. I don't know why, but this outline took me forever. Like, I, I tried it and redid it so many times. It's not even a joke. Anyway, I'm going in now with some uh, black gel paint and a detailer brush and trying to add those veins. Not going overboard with this because the more you add, the mo more cluttered it looks, especially on such a small surface. If they were as big as the butterfly wings, then more details would have been fine, but with this one being such a small surface, you don't want so many details because it's just gonna look really cluttered. Um, and now I decided I needed even more definition, so I added some abs to the <laughs> some a six pack <laughs> to the dragonfly body. And now I'm going in with some gem body and some AB crystals from Crystal Parade, and adding that to some parts of the dragonfly, and adding some crystals and some silver caviar beads. That's my crystal picker upper. I'm showing you that. You know, I'm kind of showing off hey i have a crystal picker upper <laughs> so yeah i'm just adding that i actually added crystals to all of the other ones but i uh, didn't film that because i thought that's gonna be really boring because it's a really simple crystal placement and by the way look at that bling that is my ring palette from get nailed by laura mcbride and it's incredible and i use it all the time to apply caviar beads and paint and yeah it's absolutely awesome. It doesn't warm up on your finger, which is great because that means the consistency of the gel is going to be the same as the consistency of the gel that you have in the pot, which is awesome. So yeah, go get yourself some. And those, by the way, are actual stones. So, you know, just saying. These are all done now and they are really sparkly and beautiful. I absolutely love how they are. I hope you enjoyed today's video and if you did, please give it a thumbs up. Uh, also leave a comment down below, let me know what else you'd like to see and subscribe to my channel with the notifications bell turned on uh, to make sure you don't miss any of my future videos. And yeah, take care, bye!